All right, Entangled Review, we're looking at Ilanga's training routine. Let's see what he's got going on. If you're a footballer, you need to be watching Ilanga's training videos. He has by far some of the best training videos on this entire app. And it's no wonder they so athletic and explosive on the pitch. So if you're new. Well, I think it's funny that there's a direct uh, causation between a few workouts he's doing and his amazing performances on the football pitch. I mean, he he was playing football his whole childhood. Like, I think he was already athletic and powerful in the first place to get a contract at Manchester United and make it all the way up into the first team. Here, my name is Matt Stigler. I'm a pro football performance coach, and I'm going to break down each of these exercises and give it a rating from... Well, to be a professional football trainer, you have to work with players at the highest level. Mate. A tier to F tier. So we got two right here to start. The floating heel is going to be a B tier for me, and that snap down. Well, the funny thing is these kind of isometrics on the ball of the foot, they're trying to actually recreate fascial tension, but they don't know how. So, that, so they just do a isometrics. And the word that we use is mindless because you don't actually know what you're doing. But the guys that are already fascial driven get benefits from this. The guys that are muscle driven don't because by default, their body resorts to muscle over contraction. And because he's already fascial driven, this, this isometrics allows him to, to, to basically tap into more fascial tensioning, which you'll see help his performance is the only one that's going to be f tier the floating heel is great i just think he should add some extra load to it he could probably hold on to a dumbbell and snap downs are useless well the funny things is when you add more weight that's telling your brain to recruit more muscle and not use fascia as much so if, if you use more weight then you're literally doing the opposite of what is athletic because he's already athletic being fascial driven you add more weight that's going to teach the body to use more muscle in a position that you want the fascial system to be the main absorber of force. That last exercise he showed was absolutely A tier and is really similar to a variation that I use with almost all of my athletes because it works on striking the foot behind you. Well, I don't understand. You want to improve performance, right? And you want to become more explosive. And obviously, if you know anything about the body, the foot is very important for that. And if you're wearing shoes like that, you're directly atrophying the intrinsic muscles and the fascia of the foot. So thereby, you are destroying what you're trying to achieve, mate. You, which is specific to acceleration, and then in front of you, which is specific to deceleration. And these are all trainable qualities that can absolutely transform your performance on the pitch. This one, I'm also going to give A tier. He does a lot of ankle redirection work, which is great for change of direction. Now, he does some cross. Well, I think this actually is probably a waste of time because you need you need the movement to be simple to actually make some improvements in the fascial, let's say, infrastructure. Because there is basically very d dynamic movements of uh, as we're seeing here, like he's not just doing a simple up and down or a side to side. It's too complicated for the body to actually create change inside the tissue. So he's much better off doing something simple and actually building up that to a, a, a three minute, five minute time frame, and actually getting some results where he's actually changing how things work under the skin, as opposed to just doing fancy footwork. Overs here, and I'm gonna give. And, and if you want to do fancy footwork, just go play sports. It's much better. Give this a B tier just because I think if you're going for explosive power, there is a better option. But there is some benefit to doing this where he has to decelerate and change direction every single time. But if you're an athlete who's going for force production, change of direction on the pitch, then I think that this crossover bound is going to be a better option for you because you don't have to worry about constantly decelerating and then changing your direction. All right. Um, yeah, long story short, if, if you want to be a, a good athlete, growing up, play a lot of sports, you'll develop elite athleticism. Someone like Alanga is already an extremely naturally gifted athlete, which he developed in childhood, which you can too if you understand what he did in childhood, which is being barefoot, uh, starting from the womb, crawling as a toddler. Your first, your first 
two years of life are your most important years for athletic development because that, that's where you learn to crawl. And that's where you create these cross crawl patterns that you bring to walking, to running, and then all throughout your childhood, all that sports is how you develop that into your full body. And so basically none of this stuff made him who he is. It's just fancy for IG.